Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Thanks a lot for liking our videos and do subscribe our channel if you haven't already and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. We also have another channel named Easy Swing Tutorials where you can watch our swing tutorials in Hindi. So check it out as well. Link is in the description box. Today I'm sharing asymmetrical kurti and the best part is you can pair it with jeans, culottes, plazo, dhoti salwar or even you can wear it as layered kurti. So let's get started. This is the required measurement. To make this kurti, I'm using this cotton fabric with beautiful buddha print. I just loved it. And this is 1.5 meter of fabric. For cutting, I have folded the fabric twice in width. Now for shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch, so half of it would be 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. And mark half inch downward from this point and join it to the neck width point. From here, I'll mark the armhole. Take half of your armhole round. In my measurement, armhole round is 14 inch. Half of it would be 7. I'll deduct half inch as this is sleeveless kurti. Mark 1 inch inward and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now I'll mark the vertical measurements. Shoulder to apex 10.5 inch. Shoulder to waist 14 inch. Shoulder to hip 21 inch. And I'll just extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest is 31 inch. So 31 plus 2 is 33. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst is 32 inch. So 32 plus 3 is 35. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist is 27 inch. So 27 plus 4 is 31. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.75 inch. For hip, I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is 37 inch. So 37 plus 4 is 41 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 10.25 inch. For hip, I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is 37 inch. So 37 plus 4 is 41 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 10.25 inch. Now I'll join these points. I'll leave 1.5 inch of seam allowance. Now for length, keep the measuring tape on the top and measure and mark the length which is 45 inch in my measurement. I'm leaving 1 inch seam allowance at the bottom. For ghera, I'll mark a point at 14 inch to give it a little A-line shape. For straight fit, I'll just add uh, 1 inch or 2 inch to hip measurement. And for A-line, you can add 4 inch to 6 or 7 inch to the hip measurement for ghera. Now mark half inch upwards and join it with a slight curve to the bottom line. Now I'll mark the armhole curve. So marking is complete and now I'll cut it. Now 
Now to cut the asymmetric shape, decide the length from where you want to start the shape. For mine, I have taken 4 to 5 inch below hip line. You can start it from wherever you like. This is the center. Now I'll join these points with the slight curves. I'll leave half inch of seam allowance and now I'll cut it. So cutting is complete, now I'll stitch the kurti. For front neck width is 3 inch and neck depth is 7 inch. You can make any desired neckline shape in this rectangle. So I've cut the front neckline. For back I'm making round shape and neck width is same 3 inch and neck depth is 5 inch. To finish the front neckline, I'm using the piece of same fabric as facing. Place both pieces like this, right sides facing each other and pin it up. Now I'll make a stitch. Now I'll trim the facing in the neckline shape. Now turn around the facing fabric and make a stitch on the edge. Keep the seam allowance direction inwards or towards the facing. Now I'll fold the facing fabric like this and I'll make a stitch on the edge to secure it. You can also make hem stitch by hand.
To finish the back neckline, I am using bias tape. So I finished both front and back necklines. Now I'll stitch the shoulder slope on both sides. So I've stitched it. Now I'll just overlock it. Now I'm making stitch on the back neckline. Now just like back neckline, I'll finish the armholes with the bias tape. And now I'll stitch the side fitting seam on both sides. Lastly, I'll finish the bottom of the kurti. I'm making stitch on the double fold. You can also use bias tape to finish the bottom.
So my kurti is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.